Hi friends, this is Neil from the OPM team. With ransomware on the rise, it's never been more important to ensure your backup strategy contains an off-site copy. Not only does Veritas Alta Recovery Vault store your critical data at either AWS or Azure, it stores it with immutability and you set the clock. This is the first part in a two-part series. In the first video, we'll set up the storage and in the second video, we'll perform a backup, and then we'll try and expire the backup images, and then we'll perform a recovery. Now I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up immutable offsite storage with Alta Recovery Vault. To begin, you'll need to have a storage server built. Here's mine. Click on the Disk Pools tab, and then click on the Plus Add button. Select your storage server and give your disk pool a name. Next, we'll click on Select Volume and click on Add Volume. Give the volume a name and click on Cloud Storage Provider. Select Veritas Alta Recovery Vault, Azure, or AWS, depending on which provider you've chosen to use. Select either Account Access Tier or Archive, depending on which storage tier you've selected. Select your region. Next, either select an existing credential or add a credential. I'm going to select an existing credential. If you're interested to see how to create a credential, check out my video, Short-Lived Token-Based Authentication. Next comes immutability. Select the minimum and maximum lock durations. We'll retrieve our cloud buckets by clicking on Retrieve List. In this example, I don't have any buckets, so I'm going to create one. Now that the bucket has been created, I'm going to select it. If you'd like to add replication targets, you can do that here. Review your selections, and when it looks good, click Finish. Now that the disk pool and volume have been created, let's create the storage unit so we can use this new immutable storage for backups. You can either click Add Storage Unit from the top menu or the left-hand menu. Once you're on Storage Unit, click on the Plus Add button. Select Media Server Deduplication Pool to local or cloud storage. Give the storage unit a name. Select the disk pool we just created. Notice when we select our new disk pool, the enable worm setting is letting us know immutability has been set. Either let NetBackup select your media server or specify the one that you would like to use. When everything looks good, click on save. And that's it. We just created an immutable off-site container that I can use as a backup target. Want to know the best part? It's built right into NetBackup. Thank you for watching this demo on how to set up immutable off-site storage with Veritas Alta Recovery Vault. And be on the lookout for part two of this video.